the whole world knew Dallas because of the show. Yeah, that's right. Nothing that hasn't been wrong since the day I came to Dallas. You were killed off, but that you really, you left, why'd you leave? I left because I was seven months pregnant when I married Bobby Ewing. I had the biggest bouquet of flowers that was covering the biggest bump. And oh my God. I had a very low cut mini skirt, so they were looking other places other than... <laughs> that was all tricks. Yes. Cherie left Dallas to become a full-time mom and learned Hollywood has a short memory. People would look at you and think, She's gorgeous, she's talented, she's a mom, she's done it all, she looks so confident. Um, what would you say about that? Do you have insecurities? How come nobody's calling? Did they already forget? Was I just, you know, right. one, uh, one flash in the pan? I'm just now that's on to the next ingenue. And I think it was, I mean, if you, if you, if you start that, that horrible rabbit hole of self-doubt, it can be, it can suck you in just like that. And um, I think the one thing that I have done for most of my self-care when I start, there's too much noise in my head or this and that, is I go out and I get in nature immediately. I walk, I run, I ride my bike. I used to get on my horse when I had one. Don't happen anymore. <laughs> but tricking yourself, running along the beach, taking a walk on the beach not right now in my beautiful neighborhood. Once I'm out in nature, the endorphins kick in. Mm -hmm. That's the number one thing you can do to change your attitude. And one thing that I do, it's my trick of I just, as I'm walking, I sit there and I go through my gratitude list. And I thank God for every single positive thing in my life. To reframe, get your attention off yourself, is it can be hard to do, especially when you're in a, such a self-reflective business mm -hmm. <laughs> and everybody's looking at you. Mm -hmm. But if you can get your attention off yourself and back out in nature, that is my biggest number one trick. It reframes mm -hmm. things. It also, I think, makes you feel good about yourself that you choose, you were talking about making choices. Right. You're choosing to be grateful instead of feel bad about things. It's and so it's, it, it makes you feel good about yourself. It's true. Choose joy. You were my favorite when I used no. to watch Dallas. I would look at you and I was like, oh, she's so beautiful. I love her hair. And I just thought you were so pretty. Now I'm gonna ask you a question talking. as one woman to another of a certain age. Yeah. You know, how do you deal with the wrinkles? See, <laughs> how do you deal with seeing yourself change? You know, it's humbling. It truly is. I'm like, really? <laughs> I mean, I know I have laugh lines and I've earned those because I do tend to smile a lot and uh, have a joyful attitude. But no, we're just, it's like I'm all, I'm morphing into my mother. I, I mean, she's beautiful, by the way. So my mother is beautiful. But I'm going, oh my gosh, I'm seeing the same wrinkles, the lines, mm -hmm. the this and that. And I was like, okay. Well, with age comes a lot of wisdom. And I would hope to think that I'm getting wiser and a little less self-conscious about having to be flawless and perfect. I'm going to try, I mean, to my best, to really embrace this chapter of my life. It's interesting that you said that you look and you think you look more like your mom. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I frequently look at pictures now and I see my mom. I see my mom uh -huh. in pictures of me. I see the similarities. Yeah. And I can't say that I'm exactly thrilled when I see wrinkles and stuff like <laughs> that. At the same time, you're talking about embracing the season. One of the things that I do is I think a lot about my purpose. Right. I have a short time left. Right. We have a short time left right. here. How do and you so want to I think that? about what, I, what do I want to have done? 
What do I want to have achieved? What do I want to look back on? I have had such a charmed life and a career. I find myself gravitating more to philanthropic causes. If you're down and out on yourself, find something kind to do for somebody else. I mean, I don't care if it's, my husband loves my carrot cake. I'll bake him a carrot cake because I know it'll make him happy. And if he's happy, then I feel better about myself. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> and so, or just any random act of kindness. You can't give away kindness. It always comes back to you a hundredfold.